Numbers chapter 36, the daughters of Zeplahad, the heads of the ancestral clan of Gilead, son of Makar, the son of Manash, they were the clan's descendants of Joseph, approached Moses and the leaders who were heads of the families of, and the people of Israel. They said, when God commanded my master to hand over the inheritance lands by lot to the people of Israel, my master was also commanded by God to hand over the land, the inheritance land of Zipplehad, our brother, to his daughters. But what happens if they marry into another tribe? In the people of Israel, their inheritance land will be taken out of our in in history tribe and get added into the tribe in which they married and then when the year of jubilee comes for the people of Israel their inheritance will be lumped in with the inheritance of the tribe into which they married. Their land will be removed from our ancestors' inheritance. Moses, at God's command, issued this order to the people of Israel. What the tribe of the sons of Joseph said is right. This is God's command to Zeppelin's, Zeppelin's daughters. They are free to marry anyone they choose as long as they marry within their ancestral in clan. The inheritance land of the people of Israel must not get passed around from tribe to tribe. No, keep the tribal inheritance land in the family. Every daughter who inherits land, regardless of the tribe she in, must marry a man within her father's tribal clan. Every Israelite is responsible for making sure the inheritance stays within the ancestral tribe. No inheritance land may be passed from tribe to tribe. Each tribe of the people of Israel must hold on tight to its own land. Zebulahad's daughters did as God's commanded. Moses Merha Tirzad, Hoglan, Melkah, and, and Noah, Zeplahad's daughters, all married their cousins on their father's side. They married within the families of Meshahed, son of Joseph. And their inheritance land stayed with their father's family. These are the commands and regulations that God commanded through the authority of Moses to the people of Israel on the plains of Moab at Jordan Jericho. Thank you for listening to this 
chapter, and God bless.